uh, student hustlers who uh, made this possible. Uh, so we call them as hustlers because uh, uh, that's the fun, right? Uh, to get uh, things done, uh, uh, what we call in India as jugad, right? So we call them as hustlers because these people get things done for us. And uh, because of the hustlers, uh, we have uh, uh, got this uh, webinar done in a, uh, such a short period of time. Right, thank you, guys. I hope to work with you uh, uh, going forward. And Prakash uh, is your uh, man. Uh, talk to him and keep engaging with him. So let's uh, start with uh, today's webinar. I guess uh, uh, some of you know about Scalenza, but I would like to uh, mention about the company a little bit uh, before I start uh, with the presentation. Uh, so basically, uh, Scalenza is a five-year-old startup based out of Bangalore. Uh, uh, we are a platform for uh, people like you uh, to come and uh, participate in uh, challenges, uh, be it hackathons, programming contests, uh, uh, data science competitions, and uh, showcase your skills. Uh, and, and why should you showcase your skills, right? So when you come and uh, participate in any of these competitions on Skillenza, you are able to A, learn a lot of th new things, right? Uh, B, you compete with your peers, so you understand what uh, uh, your peers are doing, your friends are doing, and where you stand. Uh, see you get a lot of uh, goodies in terms of cash prize, uh, t-shirts, swags, stickers, uh, devices, right? And D, you uh, are able to showcase your skill to some of the uh, biggest companies in, in the planet, right? Uh, companies like Microsoft, companies like uh, uh, Google, uh, right? These companies uh, uh, on a regular basis do these uh, competitions and when you participate, you showcase your skill. So that's what we are. We are a platform for you to showcase your uh, true skill uh, and uh, get uh, rewarded for uh, doing good work, right? Uh, so uh, enough about Skillenza. Uh, so let me uh, come to the agenda of the webinar, right? Uh, why we all are here. So I guess uh, uh, when uh, most of you guys, I presume, are in, uh, in the final year of your college or um, in the first year of a job, right? And you must be thinking about uh, how do I get a good opportunity, right? What is the what is the right opportunity? What is uh, are a good company for me, right? And uh, and how should I uh, get uh, going, right? And how should I crack uh, that opportunity? And that's what our topic is today. Uh, uh, basically, I guess most of you would have figured out why uh, the topic looks familiar, right? Uh, it says how to get right swipe from the company of your dreams. Right, the way you you use Tinder, I, I presume you must be using Tinder, is how uh, and and I guess when you use Tinder, you have some uh, um, mechanism, right, to rate uh, the other person that uh, you are seeking, right, and uh, when you are doing that, uh, you have an algorithm in your head, right, and you're using it to do right or left swipe. I guess uh, that's how the world operates, and a uh, lot of these companies that I mentioned. Uh, be it uh, uh, companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, startups like Uber, right? Uh, all of these companies uh, also have an algorithm, also have a, a process of identifying the right talent. And if you are able to crack that, if you are able to understand that algorithm, you will uh, for sure get a right swipe, right? Uh, so that's what we are going to talk today. And once the, uh, the slides are over, I'll be happy to take questions. Uh, and uh, go through each of it uh, and uh, try to help you out uh, in the process, right? So let's see, uh, how do you get the right swipe, right? Uh, so uh, what happens is, uh, before I uh, go here, uh, can you guys uh, guess uh, which movie is this? If you can put it on the chat. Uh, cool, Vikas wrote uh, Kung Fu Panda, I guess. Uh, oh, good, good. I, I think most of the guys know about this movie, right? So I'll tell you why uh, I uh, do these uh, slides, right? So now moving forward, all the slides would be movies uh, because I think that's a uh, in fun way to uh, uh, make your point, right? Uh, and uh, I guess we all are uh, movie um, fans or buffs in, in, in one or the other way. I'm, I'm a big movie buff. Uh, uh, I watch a lot of movies uh, and I try to learn from them. And I think that is how uh, we will uh, take the webinar uh, uh, forward today, uh, right? So if you uh, think about this movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda, right? Uh, what happened in the movie was, uh, 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 this is Poe, right? Uh, his name was Poe. He was a panda who uh, always dreamt of being a, a Kung Fu warrior, right? Uh, a martial art expert. Uh, but he was fat and uh, he was not able to, he was not athletic, he was not able to do these things. 
uh, but uh, somehow he uh, became the dragon warrior he was declared as the dragon warrior uh, and everybody thought that he was not worthy of it uh, and how did he actually became the dragon warrior is is the movie right that's the crux of the movie and uh, when you uh, think about the movie hard you realize that the only way uh, he became the dragon warrior is was training hard right so now if you want to uh, go to these uh, companies uh, uh, companies like uh, uh, facebook uh, uh, amazon google netflix uh, uber right uh, you have to train very hard uh, uh, so the first thing that you have to do as uh, computer science students or if not uh, uh, we have a webinar tomorrow where uh, even if you are not a computer science student how do you uh, become expert in programming right so we have uh, Uh, one of a uh, 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 very good engineer from swiggy uh, he's speaking tomorrow uh, and he's not a computer science engineer himself but he uh, picked up programming in the college days uh, and he's become one of the best engineers at swiggy right so how do you do that so that'll be one thing that we will actually uh, talk about tomorrow uh, right but uh, uh, since you guys are here uh, so if you are a computer science student uh, if not try to uh, learn a lot of uh, cs fundamentals which is data structures and algorithms uh, it's uh, uh, some of these content are freely available you can go to youtube uh, you can also probably buy a few courses on udacity or coursera and and learn those uh, uh, courses right uh, the second thing that you need to concentrate is uh, maths uh, right uh, maths is very important when you are actually thinking about programming and solving these uh, problem statements and maths actually makes you lot smarter so focus on that uh, develop lot of analytical skills so try to understand data right uh, that will help you out uh, a lot uh, and also develop some product building skills right so i'll come to that uh, what uh, what does a product building skill mean uh, but before i go there i would really like to know if uh, you guys understand what is a product company uh, can somebody uh, write in the chat uh, what is a product company before i move to the next uh, slides i guess there are no takers uh, working on its own product the company that makes a product does business uh, one which has its own product cool the cool 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 i guess yeah most of you guys understand it right uh, so then i guess uh, you would also understand uh, what is a product company and uh, versus a services company right uh, uh, most of you are right actually a company which uh, has their own product right uh, basically uh, companies like microsoft uh, Uh, google or uh, facebook amazon flipkart yeah, uh, uh, that any e-commerce company any uh, social media company uh, right like snap like uh, tiktok right these are all product companies who have built the product uh, and also they have not built the product they built it themselves right so they own the product and the whole engineering process right from the design to uh, the implementation of product is owned by the company in house right internally right the team internally is doing it so that's their dna Uh, when you go to companies like TCS or uh, Infosys, they are services companies, which means they develop products for a for someone else, right? So that's the difference, and uh, uh, and that is why uh, when you go for a product company because they create their own products, the journey is tougher, right? Uh, the journey is uh, difficult. So the quality of talent that these companies expect from you, right, is very high, right? Because uh, uh, exactly uh, so what's the oh yeah this is a good question i'll i'll be happy to take this question right now uh, because it's all about product companies today right uh, so the question is what's the prime reason for big gap in pays between product based and service based right so what happens is uh, when you are uh, developing something on your own right uh, you have to think about a lot uh, uh, right uh, as in a you have to think about the product architecture you have to think about scalability design uh right uh, security and what happens is uh in a product environment uh, the product owners or the founders right they believe in uh, uh smaller teams right agile teams right? so what happens there is so you if you know uh, uh, the uh, i guess mo all of you guys use whatsapp right uh, can anybody guess uh, how many team members were there in whatsapp when whatsapp was acquired by facebook
Tanmay said two, no, not two. Two is very less. BG is somewhere, no, two, Vignesh is also wrong. Uh, BG is somehow closer. Uh, it's, I think it was 52 or 57, in between 50 and 60. So you can now imagine a product that impacted a billion life, right? Billion people uh, uh, use uh, the product, uh, right? Uh, 56, yeah, that's right. Uh, so a billion people were using the product and only 56 guys were running the product, right? Uh, just imagine uh, how much salary all those 56 guys would be making. You can just imagine, right? That's the reason. Right? It's simple. If a company makes 100 rupees by selling, uh, exactly, uh, 100 rupees by selling a product, and there are only five engineers making the product, you can say 100 by 5, 20, right? If a company makes uh, 100 rupees by giving out a service, and there are 20 engineers, 30 engineers making the product, then how, how, does, how much these guys make, right? Five rupees or three rupees, right? So that's the difference, right? So uh, when uh, uh, all the startup teams are uh, nimble, they're smaller, right? Uh, that's why uh, the workload on you is higher, right? Uh, it's like, uh, uh, so in, in a services environment, uh, there are larger teams who are building the same uh, product, which uh, a smaller team would be building in a product uh, company. So the heavy lifting is being done by the product guys, right? The product engineers in, in a startup or in a large tech company. And that's why the talent is of higher value. Uh, there is more demand of the talent and, and that's why the pay is also higher. I guess that answers your question. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you guys. Uh, let me move to the next slide. Uh, I, I hope you're able to see my slides. Cool, good. So next quiz, uh, quiz number two, which is this movie? Cool, I think BG is a, yeah, it's the spelling, what BG has written is correct. Cool, uh, so basically uh, what, uh, if you remember this movie, uh, you can just, uh, I don't need to actually explain the slide, it's a very, self-explanatory. So when you're thinking about a product uh, company, right? So I'll just uh, give you another example. So when uh, product companies means uh, where we, uh, we discuss that product company is a company which makes uh, their own product, right? Uh, they own it uh, from end to end, which means from right from the design of the product architecture to implementation and uh, launch of the product, right? Uh, we also discussed about the salary levels, right? Uh, so uh, then the uh, then let's discuss about uh, the kind of product companies, right? So if you think about uh, uh, the popular brands, uh, for example, the brands like uh, Google, Facebook, these are all large companies, right? So we we will call them as uh, large uh, product companies or large tech companies, right? Uh, the second category of product companies is startups, right? If you know about startups, uh, these are smaller organizations which are growing in a growth phase. They might become a big organization in the coming days uh, might also uh, uh, be a smaller one and be uh, like, for example, like WhatsApp was a smaller organization in terms of uh, number of people, but the impact was way larger than Facebook itself, right? That's why Facebook acquired them. Uh, uh, so, uh, so basically these startups, which are uh, also creating their own products, uh, these are also good places, or in fact, sometimes they're great places to work. Uh, Flipkart was a startup almost uh, 13 years back. Uh, they launched in 2007. Right, so, so all of these large product companies, tech companies that you see, were a startup uh, at least a few years back. Right, uh, Facebook launched got launched in 2004. Google is 98. Amazon is 94. So all of these companies uh, got launched uh, uh, very early, right? Uh, and then they became larger companies because they they kept growing and they had that product DNA. And and as I mentioned, the quality of talent they hire is uh, of high quality, right? So now when, when you think about uh, this, these kind of companies, uh, uh, coming to a second slide, uh, which says build real projects, right? So when you are in college or in your, uh, let's say one year, two year uh, of a job, uh, work on projects which are uh, real products, right? So basically uh, don't build something uh, uh, which everybody is doing. I think 
you must have seen um, um, i have seen lot of resumes from college kids which has uh, i can can somebody guess what is the project that most which is which is the most popular project in a fresh uh, graduates resume in in india can anybody guess that <laughs> yeah exactly i think everybody got it library management system correct 100% correct right so don't do that everybody you see this is this uh, project has been so much abused that we are making fun of this project right so don't do this uh, try to uh, create a uh, uh new products right uh, basically um, uh, new ideas uh, and that well, let me see what somebody wrote it's a funny one exactly yeah. and that too in php from github right uh, library management using blockchain uh, was uh, a new concept maybe a couple of years back now it's being abused right so i think this is something that you guys have also realized that every college kid is just building a library management system that's wrong totally wrong so think about uh, scenarios which you face uh, in in daily life right in fact if you are a final year student think about some of the scenarios that we are going through today uh, the covid situation right so uh, try to build uh, new applications uh, think about new scenarios even if you are not able to think about new scenario at least think about new features like take library management system but uh, build a better version of it and then go and say that hey this is what i have done this is way better right so uh, uh yeah that's that, that's cool uh, job portal side is cool uh, right so some some of these things uh, that you have to do is build real projects with the way will smith uh, built out uh, this uh, uh, healthcare product right uh, and he was behind it so own that thing uh, right that is what, what is very important uh, innovate uh, and if not then then we'll we'll go to the next slide uh, let's see what it says i guess you will be able to find some of those cool ideas in there any guesses which movie is this yeah yeah it's social network it's, the movie name is not facebook then it was based on the facebook story the movie is social network yes exactly so uh, uh, if you uh, remember these kids were actually doing a hackathon uh so that uh, they can get an internship in facebook right i will not suggest to do this by drinking and and coding but uh, still uh, it's fun to be in hackathons and that's what we do at, at skillenza uh, uh we uh, uh, we are a platform for companies to run hackathons so participate in in these uh, hackathons right uh, compete in these hackathons code jams uh, so we have uh, uh, platforms like skillenza we have platforms like hacker earth uh, uh, we have uh, Uh, lead code right we have code forces so go to these uh, uh, some of you guys must be aware of all of these platforms so go there uh, practice a lot right uh, participate in these code jams uh, you know, i guess you must uh, know the difference between a code jam and a hackathon right hackathon is more of a team event where you are building out products uh, code jams or competitive programming is where you are working on a algorithm data structure problem statement and you are doing it alone uh how to approach lead code and code forces seems to be out of scope sometimes uh, this is dream 11 masters question see uh, i agree some of the questions are really tough uh, but i guess you have to take a gradual approach uh, and that comes from the first slide the the hard training right uh, so go through uh, it gradually uh, and try to fi find a mentor or a friend who can always help you right uh, so just think about uh, your engineering preparation days right so even if you had some problem you always had a mentor or a friend who could help you out right so uh, try to find some of the good guys uh, who are there who can who can mentor you uh, or go to the forums and see if somebody has uh, written the approach right but try to uh, solve it first uh, before going to the solution right uh, so i i agree uh, sometimes it's difficult so i think going through some of the good courses on udacity or coursera will definitely help you right so let's go to the next one uh, any guesses yeah the internship yeah how to get into google yes so the movie was about uh, these two uh, people who were in sales job and they lost the job uh, because of uh, some downturn in the economy and uh, they suddenly 
uh, found themselves uh, in uh, in Google. They got an internship in Google, right? And that that became their real life experience. Uh, so that they can again get into Google after the internship, right? So that is what you should do. So the moment you are in third year or your second year, you have acquired the three things. You have done the three first three things I mentioned, right? So to go step by step, you cannot skip. You cannot uh, go to a hackathon without ever building a product on your own or without uh, learning the CS fundamental, right? So these are all sequential events. So don't skip anything, right? Uh, if you have done some of the pieces, go back and revise, right? If you have gone through algorithm data structure course maybe you know first year or second year try to go through it once more right uh, if you feel confident then go to uh, platforms like uh, or skelenza or lead code or code forces and do the tougher problems right so that's how you you practice uh, and when you are in your second year or third year you have done the first three steps now you are ready for a real life experience these are the three things that you can do on your own and you can actually uh, you know, do it from comfort of your hostel room or your home but now you have to get out of your comfort zone and go to the real world, which is actually going to a real company, right? And what happens is when uh, you want to work for a product companies, these companies value your real life experience, apart from obviously uh, your grades and your uh, 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 performance in these coding contests. They also value that you have gone to an environment, you have worked in, in team, you have uh, taken, uh, you what you can say, uh, tasks or assignments from a peer or a senior performed well and delivered it on time right so it shows your professionalism not only the your coding skill but your professionalism right how you approach uh, uh, things right how you pro solve problems and also how you work in teams right so that's how uh, uh, companies value uh, internship uh, so that's what you should do uh, and there are a lot of internship portals uh, you can go to internshala we also do something called intern hunt on a regular basis uh, we are running a competition called Off Campus Hack. Uh, uh, you can participate there. Uh, and that's how you find uh, good companies. So if, even if there are good startups who uh, 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 are giving out an internship, go there. If you can crack an internship in a large organization like Google or Amazon, uh, Facebook, Microsoft, uh, that's way better, right? Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, even if there are good startups, uh, you can go there and, and work, right? Uh, one thing that you should look uh, when you are uh, trying for an internship, try to do an internship where there is a good stipend, right? And second, the quality of the work should be high, right? Uh, don't pick up work which is uh, uh, not that high because your aim is to go to a product company by end of your engineering or maybe in the first two years of your work experience, right? So pick up work which is exciting. Don't pick up uh, menial work and see if there is a good stipend there, right? So there's a question, what approach should we follow to learn DSN algo? Should we cover all the topics or should we go into depth of particular topic that we have started? Please guide. See, I would, uh, uh, so what happens, uh, uh, Rishabh is, uh, if you start tracking the way companies hire, these product companies hire, all companies have a different approach. Not every company has a similar approach, right? So some of the companies uh, like uh, certain concepts and they want to focus on that. So uh, if, let's, for example, if you want uh, to crack, uh, 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 Samsung, right? So Samsung, uh, if you go and see Samsung problem statements that have been asked uh, previously, some of them would be <clears throat> around dynamic programming, right? So you cannot miss dynamic programming if you want to go to Samsung. So if you want to increase your probability of going to a product company and uh, try for uh, more interviews, you have to cover most of the topics because you don't know which topic is going to come uh, in the interview, right? You, you never know. The interviewers might, might uh, work in a way where uh, you cannot predict it, right? So that's why you should uh, go some of uh, these things and then find these paths, right? So when you go to uh, lead, lead code or all, we also have some of these practice uh, scenarios, you can actually see, oh, this is the Amazon path, right? Uh, this is how Amazon is hiring. So these are the concepts that Amazon uh, stresses on. So now I will go into depth. So do a proper, uh, you can say, a horizontal approach once right? So that you are able to crack most of the interviews, but also go into depth, right? Uh, go into depth of the things, right? Uh, and then uh, uh, try to see which companies you want to target and uh, go forward, right? So now, uh, so any guesses? I'll... Uh,
great i think i think everybody here uh, watches movies that's good uh, so basically if you remember this scene uh, uh, these guys were actually trying to save uh, uh, the doctor right uh, by using uh, the community power right so uh, this basically is trying to depict that you should uh, uh contribute to open source right uh, so basically uh, the power of community right so as a, as an engineer uh, this is you can say now uh, you are taking uh, this is going a level up right so once you have uh, uh, learned the basic fundamentals of C computer science algorithm data structures you have maybe gone deeper into some of the concepts right you have started uh, practicing uh, then you have uh, st uh, started building out uh products uh, right uh, and uh, they also started co competing in uh, uh, these uh, hackathons and code uh, coding contest and you have also uh, taken up an internship now if you have uh, more interest and uh, more uh, will power right and time in hand you should start contributing to open source right i guess uh, some of you might have uh, also started uh, is is there anyone in the group who uh, has uh, contributed to open source which uh, which uh, project cool i uh, can you write the project name also okay wordpress django that's great cool so i think uh, uh, i guess you must have you guys must have learned a lot uh, from uh, contributing to these open source projects right uh and uh, uh, prakash keep please keep a note we should have a small session with these guys uh, uh who uh, who have already participated uh, in the open source uh, and uh, have a webinar i guess uh, 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 there are some questions around how to contribute to open source uh, uh, the best would be that we get uh, the guys who have said that they have participated uh, to get uh, and do a quick webinar with them in the coming days but uh, best would be that uh, you pick up a project that you like right uh, that you care about uh, for example i uh, really like uh, chrome right i use it a lot so uh, i would pick up chrome and say i'll contribute to chrome right because i really like i want chrome to stay i want chrome to grow right so sir, pick up a product uh, like for example mozilla right uh, uh, people love uh, contributing to mozilla there, there's a good uh, network of mozilla right um, uh, you can probably pick up any front end frameworks that you have started working on right uh, uh, there was a time when uh, big data was very popular so there were a lot of contributors from uh, india in hadoop and uh, some of these technologies right? so pick up a technology that you like go to their uh, github uh, uh, or their community page uh, they they will have a, a process of how you can contribute right Uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, basically uh, uh, put uh, your commitment uh, right in terms of the code, and they have to accept right whatever changes you are uh, publishing or you are mentioning. You have to they have to accept uh, that that thing, and the more they accept uh, your commitments, your code commits, uh, the better uh, you become right, and you, which means that you are writing code that your the community is accepting, and you are contributing to a. large technology framework right that's a very big brownie point when companies are looking at your resume right so this is something that requires uh, a lot of hard work and commitment but if you can do this then uh, obviously uh, there's a great chance uh, going forward right and uh, i guess there must be some people who would have gone to gsoc so try gsoc also uh, uh, all right that that that's a that's a great platform uh, and a very good thing to have on your resume right if you can uh, crack gsoc uh, that that is also one good feather in your cap right and the uh, the second one uh, would be uh, uh, if you know uh, digital ocean uh, they do something called hacktober fest uh, in the month of october uh, obviously uh, so they uh, what they do is they ask you to commit to any open source project uh, and uh, if you commit to the that and you get uh, your commit is accepted uh after five commits like five accepted commits you get a goodie or a t-shirt from um uh, digital ocean so that's a great uh, place to start uh, contributing to open source uh that's little far from today but uh, keep an eye on that uh, it, it it's a fun activity you should do as a programmer right uh let me go to uh, the next slides uh, and then we will take the questions so there are some some questions 
coming up. So, uh, any guesses? No, it's okay. It's, it's anyways French. No, not everybody gets it right. Yeah, so basically it's called Ratatouille. Uh, uh, if you remember, uh, uh, this was a rat, right? The rat was cooking uh, the food and it was it was way better than what humans would, would have done, right? So uh, that's what we believe uh, at Skelenza. Uh, and that's what you should also believe that great talent can come from anywhere. So it does not matter if you are from a uh, tier 2 or tier 3 college or uh, from a smaller town, right? Nowadays, uh, because of internet uh, and because of, uh, uh, you can say, all of these video conferencing and tools, uh, education is at uh, everybody's disposal. So you can learn from anywhere today, right? And uh, platforms like us, Kalenza, Hacker Earth, or some of these platforms, we try to uh, connect you guys to the right company, right? Uh, in fact, that's why we are launching our uh, coding bootcamp called Skill Dojo. Uh, in the in the next month, where uh, we'll be also uh, taking some of you guys uh, in a cohort and uh, taking you through the whole process that I mentioned, uh, uh, and we will guide you uh, through the program uh, for the next uh, three to four months, and also try to help you to get the right set of companies, right? And we will we will uh, uh, try to help people who are from uh, from humble backgrounds, right? Uh, 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 and the, the idea here is that you try to give a platform where it's a, uh, you can say leveler, right? Uh, if you're not from a uh, IIT or NIT, it does not mean that you cannot be good. And uh, it does not mean that you cannot do great in life, right? So that's what we believe in. Uh, and uh, that's why we're launching it. We will uh, uh, send you guys uh, more details about the program, about how it will run in the next three, four months, what will be the payment structure. Uh, this program is for uh, both fresh graduates and experience. Uh, uh, we don't uh, uh, care about that. What we care about is as long as you can put uh, uh, around uh, 15 to 60, uh, 20 hours of your time every week, uh, that is the commitment uh, that is needed uh, in order to get into these uh, product companies. Right? If you think about the first slide, uh, this is what uh, we are looking at. Uh, for uh, There's a question called, is it sort of pay after placement scheme? Yes, uh, uh, there is. this is one of the options. Uh, there will be other options also for uh, being paid. Uh, and, and what has happened is uh, in the uh, 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 process of us kind of engaging with a lot of uh, people, right? Uh, every month we have people coming to our platform and taking these tests. Uh, we know that uh, a lot of people are good, but they need uh, 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 certain, uh, certain help, right, to go through the process. And that's why we are launching the program. Uh, we'll, we'll send you more details, right, uh, going forward in the coming days. Uh, so, uh, going to the last slide, uh, I think this is what uh, I would uh, say uh, that, uh, any guesses of the movie? Yes, Jobs, right? So, and I guess most of you would have seen uh, this uh, uh, tagline or have heard about it. Uh, so, basically, uh, that's what we believe. You should stay hungry and stay foolish, right? Uh, uh, think about, uh, uh, like, I guess... Uh, I really like the questions that everybody asked here. That is what uh, uh, means being foolish, right? Uh, so when you uh, have question, ask it, right? When you have a doubt, uh, like somebody asked me, uh, how do I, uh, sometimes the problem statement might be difficult. So please go and uh, see who are the ones who are in that top ranker, find them on Twitter or LinkedIn, talk to them and ask them, hey, can you help me out uh, uh, on a session, right? On a call on how to do these things, right? So don't hesitate in asking questions, asking for help, right? So that's being uh, foolish. Uh, and uh, uh, hungry means that uh, basically uh, being uh, always in the learning mode, right? Keep uh, pushing yourself, keep uh, getting uh, uh, to the opportunities, keep learning, right? And keep hustling. I mean, that's why I started with hustlers, that uh, hustling is something that we all love in the company. Keep hustling, right? That's what uh, will help you to uh, get to your goal. Uh, there's one question, uh, will we be able to see companies like Amazon, Samsung, Microsoft here on Skelenza platform? Yes, we already work with companies like Microsoft and Samsung uh, very deeply. So uh, uh, our job would be to actually help you to go through the process that I mentioned, right? Uh, and uh, take you to the end goal. So that, that will be the, the thing. Uh, so this will be all from my side. Uh, uh, I'll be happy to take questions uh, related to 
to the program or just general like how uh, Okay, uh, any job opportunity that's Kalenda, sure. We will we'll talk, please uh, talk to Prakash. Uh, yes, uh, so what happens is, uh, yeah, so uh, the way we run programming challenges uh, on Skelenza is uh, uh, we keep it open for a longer period of time so that uh, people who are working, uh, they uh, are accommodated, they can uh, do whenever they have time and they are able to uh, uh, devote time, right? So each time you go through the test, uh, uh, you once you do a, go through the test and you achieve a certain level, you, uh, you the company calls you or one of our team members uh, will talk to you and help you out uh, with the process right going forward. So that's why we have kept uh, the uh, the thing longer so that people can uh, take it uh, at ease right. That's 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 the reason. There's another question called I'm an Android developer. I worked in hackathon startups down project. I contribute open source, but I'm still not able to get interviews with product startups, my application gets rejected before I get on a call with them. I do get interviews and job offers with a lot of startups, but I want to work with the product company. What can I do to increase my chance of getting an interview? So you are saying that, uh, uh, are you able to uh, get interviews with uh, uh, startups like uh, good ones or uh, like what has been the case, right? So that depends on, uh, maybe there is a way uh, uh, you have written the resume, right? So we can work on, uh, the resume, right? Uh, so that uh, whatever you have done, in fact, you have done everything that I mentioned, right? So you already know what I have told, right? So uh, that the best way would be that we should look at uh, uh, your uh, resume, try to make it uh, look more appealing, right? You know, right? Resume writing is also an art, and uh, uh, what they say in Hindi. Uh, uh, pardon me if you, some of you don't understand Hindi. Jo dikta hai wo dikta hai, right? So if you uh, have a good resume that you have created. Uh, there is a good chance that recruiters will pick it up, right? So we'll be happy to talk to you. Uh, feel free to uh, drop a message to Prakash, uh, right? And uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, we'll try to connect you to good companies. But uh, if you're still getting chances at good startups, pick it up because what happens is uh, uh, once you get into a startup environment, uh, if it's a good startup, uh, you start your career, uh, you can always go to a product company after that. Like, let's say you start your journey with a certain startup for a couple of years, uh, your demand in the market will increase and your uh, these larger product companies also start accepting uh, startup talent because if you go to my first point, uh, all these large companies also understand that uh, the talent in startups is also good quality and the kind of work you do in startups uh, is very uh, different, right? You have done a lot of heavy lifting. You do a lot of things end to end because it's a smaller team, right? So that's why uh, you get uh, uh, a good uh, uh, value when you work for a startup. So let us know what you what companies you have spoken to will will definitely help you. So there is another question from uh, the next called uh, sir. If I uh, okay, if someone has low CGPA after B Tech. Can he still get a chance if he's a good programmer? Yes. Um, uh, it's a little sad that uh, in today's world, there are still companies who uh, uh, set uh, CGPA or high school grades as criteria. Uh, we we fight a lot, to be honest, uh, with our clients saying that uh, there are really good talent uh, out there in the market who are good with less CGPA. Please consider them. So there are still companies who uh, uh, are... Uh, uh, are considering people uh, not based on their CGP but on the real work, provided you are a good programmer, right? So uh, that is what is really needed. Uh, so try to apply to those companies. And in fact, uh, some of the companies like Google have stopped looking at uh, resumes. So uh, I believe that trend is coming. Uh, a lot of companies will be in that uh, phase. Uh, so keep trying. Uh, and like I said, uh, let us know. Uh, we will be definitely there to help you out. So there is uh, one question from Sanjeev, how to switch from service-based to product-based? I, I think that's a great question. So we uh, have a webinar, uh, actually for the same, we know this is a, a big uh, question in a lot of people's mind, uh, right? Uh, as uh, there are a lot of benefits in working in a product-based company, uh, but the switch is really difficult, right? Uh, so that's the what is behind the scene, what I mentioned you. So if you really want to do the switch, these are some of the things that I mentioned. 
but we will have a, a, a webinar uh, coming in few days uh, so that uh, you can uh, learn it from somebody who has done it in in reality uh, so that will be uh, a good uh, you can say story right uh, uh, that you can see and also learn from from them so keep keep looking for updates from our side Uh, but uh, some of the things that i mentioned really applies when you are switching from a service to a product based company also right uh, in what pattern do product companies hire those who are not from iits and ims uh, see like i mentioned uh, uh, if you are not from these premium colleges uh, some of the companies uh, understand that uh, there is great talent out there uh, so the best way would be to either uh, uh, go through some of the platforms like skelenza hacker earth or uh, Uh, talk to the uh, uh, to the recruiter directly uh, by showcasing your skill sets pro- in a proper way, right? Uh, which means the resume has to be really good. Uh, uh, which means uh, the presentation of the resume, the structure, writing has to be also good, right? Uh, so you have to work on that. Uh, and uh, one of the patterns that we have seen is uh, uh, some of these companies really uh, come to these hackathons to hire, right? so that could be a good way for you to uh, showcase your skill so keep looking at some of these opportunities uh, so even if you're not from uh, these premium colleges you can still and we have we have seen that we have stories of uh, engineers from very humble background uh, um, getting into uh, uh, good companies right some of our hackathons had uh, people who uh, uh, jumped from a service company got like 2x to 3x salary Uh, and joined, let's say, pro- companies like Ola, Stazila, uh, right? Uh, some of these uh, good product companies. Yeah, so companies hire from Skillenza. Yes, we uh, uh, we have clients who work with us. Uh, they host these hackathons and coding challenges to hire, uh, and that's uh, how we have understood what uh, the ecosystem needs, right? And what uh, you really need to crack a product company interview. there's a question called uh, okay do you recommend a particular uh, uh, resume template uh, yes there are few resume templates that are quite popular uh, you can use some of them uh, you can also create on your own but uh, when you talk about resume uh, think about uh, when somebody is reading a resume they probably have uh, uh, 15 to 20 seconds that's the only time they uh, spend uh, on your resume so you can uh, think about the impact that you can create in 15 to 20 seconds right which means everything should be in the form of bullets right uh, or whatever you want to highlight uh, you should uh, put it in bold right and the font and uh, that you choose the size that you choose should be readable it should not be very large looks very bad and the one uh, you can say thumb rule for writing resume is always make it one page not many pages because you uh, people don't are not interested to read a story right they just want to see if you have few points that has can bring impact to their company right that's that's what they're looking at in those 15 20 seconds that's why you should always have one page uh, keep uh, your achievements in bold uh, try to be always objective uh, like in terms of number right you can say hey i uh, created a system where uh, uh the system was able to handle load of let like, some 100000 uh, concurrent users right previously when uh, i joined the company it was at 10000 when i uh, revamped the system it is now at uh, 1 lakh uh, concurrent users that is something that is uh, worth celebrating right uh, or let's say uh, that that is very true when uh, somebody has already worked in a company right when you are in a college uh, uh, you can say uh, some of the achievements that you can say is hey i won these hackathons or these are some of the internships i have done so a fresh graduate resume would look uh, a little different from a work experience so that those are the best practices uh, in fact uh, i guess uh, prakash uh, has uh, a resume writing webinar also for you guys in the coming days so please attend that uh, i think it will be very difficult to cover everything in one single webinar each topic is very important so we that's what we have tried to do uh, make it a more learning exercise uh, there is yeah so there is one question called uh, uh, is the hiring process stopped totally during this covid period no not at all um, if you go to skelenza or go to any of other platforms like angel list hacker earth right uh, in fact linkedin uh, right or go to all of these platforms you will see uh, there are companies still actively hiring there are companies who 
uh, have uh, who are doing business in 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 this scenario then they are important companies right for example dunzo uh, which is one of our uh, clients they are hiring because they are very relevant uh, unacademy is hiring so at tech companies uh, uh, local commerce companies right uh, these these all of these companies are hiring uh, in case of startups some of the large enterprises are also hiring so uh, you can look at these places uh, you can look at those uh, places and and uh, find the job right obviously uh, it's slow i'll not say uh, if you compare the number of jobs uh, being posted on a weekly basis uh, in this uh, month of april versus let's say 6 uh, months back it's obviously lower uh, but it's it's not stopped completely uh there is another question called uh, yeah, currently i do only computer programming and no background in development but i do have interest in it do i have a chance for internship yes uh, uh, some of the companies will uh, take you uh, as a probably as a back end programmer and give you some work right uh, but if you can start uh, uh, working on some pet projects right the real life projects that i mentioned uh, that will be quite uh, good uh, it will be beneficial otherwise also you can uh, you can find uh, some of the back end roles as an intern in uh, some of the tech companies or startups that is possible or does company have yes i, I mentioned that uh, uh, then i learned that there are certain domains of it which is not require intense coding skills like network engineering can you please elaborate yeah there are uh, thing uh, um, things like that uh, network engineer uh, obviously um, devops engineer is something which uh, uh, requires still requires intense coding skills but not like a back end engineer uh, uh, but uh, like for example it could be another one which is uh, like automation uh, engineer right uh, which is automation testing uh, qa engineer as that that also requires a certain level of uh, programming skills so in order to get into uh, uh, good product companies uh, when you talk about product companies Uh, there are certain roles in product companies right and most of them uh, require uh, intense amount of coding even if the devops person in a product uh, environment uh, does really uh, amazing work uh, versus uh, other places right so uh, whenever you are thinking about a product uh, company uh, think about uh, that you have to do intense uh, amount of work right in order to get there i had one year of experience uh, but till date uh, do not have any project on bench so what to mention on resume okay um, so sanjeev one thing uh, you can do uh, is uh, probably start working on your own projects right uh, that will be really uh, beneficial um, because uh, what what happens is when you are on bench uh, you know, people will say you have not gained any uh, new experience right uh, but only you have spent one year there but uh, uh, the best way to deal with is start building some of these uh, uh, projects on your own good ones right and also start competing in some places right so that you have uh, something to show on uh, yeah uh, prakash uh, mentioned uh, contribute to open source right that is another way so keep uh, building your uh, resume right uh, and whenever you think is the right time just jump right there is another one from death blade where and how to approach for startups for hiring process as they don't uh, pop out much until they are big no, no it's not like that uh, uh, all of the platforms uh, be it us or hacker earth we work with startups uh, if you go to our platform now you will uh, find at least 80% of our uh, job uh, challenges that are there live are from startups like right from uh, yes exactly you can uh, try angel list i was going there angel list is one you can also try i'll just write it here uh, there's a place called hash jobs uh, uh, which is which has postings of some of the startups uh, right uh, you can try hash jobs you can also try insta hire so these are some of the popular places where you can uh, look for startups right uh, and also uh, i'll tell you a quick hack uh, that will help you out uh, just uh, do one thing go to google alerts right uh, if you know how to use does anybody know how to use google alerts yeah so just go to google, uh, somebody is using it already that's good uh, just go to google alerts 
and put some keywords like startup internship india right startup jobs india startup hiring india and uh, start the alert into your emails every time there is somebody who is mentioned startup jobs right or startup hiring startup internship you will get an email so if i put up uh, something on angel list or uh, i just put it somewhere uh, as a tweet also some of the times the alerts uh, also pick up tweets right so do that first thing that's one hack to find uh, startup jobs second is uh, uh, is what i've already mentioned go to these platforms register yourself you will get uh, updates uh, follow their uh, uh, social media handle to get more updates right uh, the third one is uh, go to a platform like uh, your story or in 42 if you already don't know just uh, check them out uh, they cover a lot of uh, startups right so just go to the platform and keep uh, a tab on which companies are high, uh, uh, raising money right so they always will uh, post a news on which startups are hiring or which startups have raised money right so just go and you'll you'll get to know about a new upcoming brands uh, right uh, uh, which has probably let's say raised uh, 50 crore round or 100 crore round right these are yet to become brand like you mentioned right these are yet to become brand but you can always find their news on your story and then uh, uh, go to their website and find their founder and follow them on twitter and you can just go and write a uh, somebody a uh, founder on twitter and mention that uh, hey i'm looking for internship most of the founders startup founders are very open uh, and they will probably connect to somebody in the team and you would get uh, a good opportunity right uh, so that is something that you should uh, you should try it out this is another hack right follow the founders on on twitter and uh, keep uh, seeing their updates or uh, directly tweet them saying that i'm looking for internship they'll definitely help uh death blood is saying what angel list mostly mentions about global startups which are much harder no no, no angel list mentions about all sorts of startups uh indian startups also uh, uh, posted there in the recent uh, if you have checked in the recent 2 3 weeks a lot of indian startups have not posted it but uh, indian startups in fact uh, uh, love angel list so they use it a lot so you should uh, definitely uh, try angel list so there is one question call Uh, I passed out in 2009, and I was working with HP as a network engineer. Now I quit the job and upskilling myself in Python, mainly looking for data science jobs. Any inputs for me, sir? So uh, for data science, uh, uh, obviously I will. Uh, we are coming up uh, with another webinar, uh, but uh, most of the things that I mentioned applies. Uh, if you are, I, are you uh, upskilling yourself uh, by going through some of the free uh, platforms, or you have uh, kind of taken up a course, a paid course somewhere? Yeah, good so uh, same uh, uh, same approach uh, when you are thinking about data science uh, think about uh, same maths right think about uh, statistics and probability uh, linear algebra right uh, make those concepts very well and uh, start building out uh, your resume which means uh, start practicing uh, data science problem statements on kaggle and other similar platforms uh, and start participating in some of these data hackathons right uh that is very important uh, for you to do uh, and make your uh, understanding of the algorithms uh, uh more than just using uh, some of the cookie cutter uh, codes out there right so understand the algorithms very well uh okay so someone uh, yeah i i think that's a that's a great uh, feedback that if somebody gets rejected uh we should give a small remark yeah that's what we are working on uh, it uh uh no yeah you are right no, not many platforms actually help uh, candidates to become better in their interview i agree totally agree with you and that's what we are also trying to do there is one question i missed i guess uh, from prerna my programming logic is not so good and i recently started learning data structure algorithm so it is okay to look at the solution yeah it's it's fine uh, but don't uh, don't go through uh, the solutions uh, Uh, uh every time try to solve it because uh, if you're going through the solution then the temptation will always be that i will go through the solution uh, most of the times and uh, not solve it right uh, so try to solve it uh, i would say it's just like uh, your uh, engineering uh, entrance exam days right if you go through the solution it does not help at the end of the day the exam is going to happen 
so keep practicing uh, take it little slow also it's fine but practice is what is is needed right so don't look at solutions every time so there's another question how many uh, uh, till get hired from skillanda so every month we uh, have around 30 to 35 people getting hired so in in the five years uh, probably we would have hired more than 1000 people uh, initial days it was uh, when we are early days it was less but now we do around 30 to 35 people every month that's what the number is currently i do only computer programming and no background in development but i, I think i have uh, answered this question jais uh, uh, if you don't uh, uh, you have no background in development it's still okay to apply for internships you will get a more of a back end kind of a role uh, in some of these uh, startups uh, but try to see if you can come up with some projects on your own uh there is another question from death blade uh, i will pass out this year luckily got a job or uh, to hang on before covid 19 but my goal is to get into product company still next year how aggressive yeah yeah that's i have given you the path uh, you don't need to go for internship i think you will join the company right so see if the company can give you good good quality work right i don't know which company it is but try to see if you can get a get good quality work within the company that will matter a lot because you will have a uh, Uh, one year of experience when you are looking for a job next year right uh, but try to uh, go through the first three processes that those are quite important right uh, in your free time uh, build a few applications see if you can uh, um, contribute to open source if you are not already doing it that will be good uh, with your work experience but try to see if you can get good quality work uh, from uh, 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 from the company right So there is another question uh, i want to ask could you arrange a particular webinar on how to crack interviews yes yes we are doing that we know that's one of the uh, popular uh, queries on everyone's mind right uh, so we'll do that so i think it's it's in in the works i think prakash we are uh, on time uh, uh yes yeah, shubhendu i think uh, if anyone else uh, if you have any question you can just shoot the question here or you can uh, i will share the le- i will share the social media links as well and there would be a youtube video too you can comment on the same video if you have any problem uh, if you have any queries regarding it and we would be having our next uh, session just tomorrow next webinar just tomorrow uh, that if you don't have a cs degree and then how can you become an engineer and we have saidam kota uh, one of the lead uh, ios developers in swiggy and he's going to tell you about uh, how to do that so this is going that is going to be the next session thank you so much shobendu for this session and thank you so much for addressing every query out there uh, i hope uh, uh nobody like if you still have queries we we have a uh, minutes uh, thank you so much yeah, thank yeah. you so much that's what uh, i guess uh, what you have already told them so if you guys if you have any question just uh, uh, shoot out to us on email right uh, uh, add us on linkedin twitter uh, we are always there to help uh, right we we love doing that and we'll keep doing these webinars prakash is uh, doing this uh, keep watching out uh, for notifications from us uh, and keep attending right and keep uh, practicing and right? that's that's what is really important hope everybody enjoyed it have a good evening bye guys thank you so much shubhendu bye bye prakash thanks